Hello Aquarius and welcome to your June 2020. How do they feel about you reading? Aquarius, I am happy to let you all know that Consciousness Evolution Journey and I did another Pick a Deck collaboration, a Love, Lust, or Lost Pick a Deck collaboration. So if you want to check that out, I will leave that link down below in the description box. Aquarius, if you would like to follow me on my socials, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box as well. All right, Aquarius, we are going to see how this person is feeling about you and if they will take any action in regards to those feelings for you. All right, this is for Aquarius. How do they feel about Aquarius? How do they feel about Aquarius? Okay. So, I honestly think that this person, number one, they're obsessed. To me, this is um, devil card in the tarot. So they're a bit addicted to you, Aquarius. They're obsessed. And then we have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So they're asking people about you, trying to find out information about you. And um, a lot of times, if you can look in this card here, Aquarius, and you see um, they're trying to look in a crystal ball, right? Um, so they're trying to find, I would, I would say maybe spiritually spying. They may be getting readings about you, seeing how you're feeling about them. They may be cross-watching tarot readings about you. So, yeah. Yep. So, yeah, they're spying on you. Sorry about that. That was Maggie. And they're a bit obsessed. So they feel addicted to you, Aquarius, okay? So let's see what the tarot has to say. This is for Aquarius. How do they feel about Aquarius? If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Aquarius, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Aquarius out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Aquarius. How do they feel about Aquarius? How do they feel about Aquarius? They feel that soul connection to you. They want some, they're waiting, they're waiting. A lot of waiting, a lot of waiting. And while they're waiting, they're spying. They have this obsession with you. You, you may have turned your back on this person at some point. Um, right? But I, they are still seeing a future with you. They're waiting, maybe waiting for you to return, waiting for you to travel towards them. Um, three of Wands, that is fire energy. I got two cards of waiting. They feel like you're very closed off emotionally, like you have a shield up and you're being very greedy with your emotions when it comes to them. They do not know how you feel and this is why all this spying is going on. This is why they're cross-watching readings, tarot readings for you, possibly that's for some of you, not all of you. This is why they're asking other people about you maybe getting psychic readings done in regards to you they're trying to figure out how you feel because you will not let them know they themselves feel a soul connection to you and their emotions are overflowing four of pentacles this is um, earth energy so all they can really do is wait and manifest and um obsess right that's what they're doing right now. So 
Um, they may be trying to work some magic on you, so you better, you know, you want to be careful with that. Say a prayer of protection around yourself in regards to that. We have the magician here. They're using a, um, the law of attraction to call you towards them, Aquarius. So, and they feel like they've got all the tools to do it, right? So they're trying to manifest this situation here with you. Um, and they're not playing by the same rules as, as you would, okay? They're not playing by the same rules. They want what they want. They want you, and they're, they're trying every which way to figure out what's going on with you and how you're feeling. So they have the sword for communication, the wand for passion, the cup for love, and the pinnacle for success. They are pulling, they are pulling from air fire, water, and earth, and they are trying to create this new beginning in love with you. You, I feel, have kind of shut them out. You, they feel very ignored by you. They feel left out in the cold by you. Um, so, yeah, we have the five of pentacles here. They feel like you've turned your back on them, and um, it's making them even more obsessed because they don't know what's going on with you. And that's making them feel even more drawn to you and addicted to you. Okay. So five of pentacles, that is earth energy. This person may be doing, and this is for some of you, not all of you, but this person may be doing a little drinking here um, with this type of energy. Okay. Because I feel like they're in a depression because you shut them out. And they still have some hardcore emotions for you, all right? So they're still wishing for you. This is a card of wish fulfillment. So they're doing um, a lot of, like I say sometimes, a lot of thinking about you and a lot, of, and for some of you, drinking. So a lot of thinking and drinking about Aquarius, right? Nine of Cups, that is water energy. All right, Aquarius. So they still feel this soul connection to you, Two of Cups. They want a relationship with you. They want to be with you. That is their wish. That is what they are wishing for. Okay, that's what they want with you. They want a nice balance here. They want some reciprocity here. I feel like there is physical distance here between the two of you, whether that's city, state, country, or otherwise. Um, you could be dealing with a cancer or somebody with strong cancer in their chart. They want some forward movement here, okay? They want a victory here with you. And their emotions overflow when it comes to you. They, they still very much obsess. They still very much care. Um, it's a very difficult thing for them to be ignored and separated from you. Very difficult. It makes them even crazier, you know? So Ace of Cups, they would love a fresh start here. And I feel like they are willing to put in the work and the effort to make that happen. Um, they're willing to do anything here, Aquarius. We've got the Seven of Pentacles here. This is also a sign of waiting, waiting, waiting. So right now, what they're doing is manifesting, obsessing, cross-watching, getting readings done, um, possibly doing a little drinking for some of you, not all of you. Um, and just feeling completely ignored and shut out. Um, they are trying to get you to return to them. That's what they're trying to conjure up, your return. Um, they're hoping that you feel that pull uh, to come back, to come back to them, to return to them. But um, it's, it's uh, very difficult for them because they do want success here with you. All right. This is for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius. How do they feel about Aquarius? Any more information in regards to how this person is feeling? Okay. Yeah, there was an ending here. Huge fear of rejection. They got a lot to say. They are, they're, they're, they want your attention so bad. Um, 
they may even like get other people to talk to you for them. All right. Um, so Ace of Wands, this is fire energy. Um, so they want a fresh start here with you. They want new beginnings here with you. Um, they're very much turned on by you and attracted to you. And not only is that fire there, but the emotion is there as well. Right? The emotion is there as well. All right. So um, there was an ending here. And then things have got to change. Uh, there's a lot of things, a lot of obstacles that stand in the way of this. And I feel like some of the things that they do and some of their behaviors are presenting at some of these obstacles. They need to go through their own transformation here. Like I said, they're not playing fair. They're not playing by the same rules as you do, okay? They're like trying to do everything in their power to get your attention and figure out what's going on with you. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or somebody with strong Scorpio in their chart. Um, for some of them, I feel like they have some sort of a plan to travel to where you're at, but they have, they, they back out. It's like they, they want to do it and they want to go talk to you, but they have this huge fear of rejection here, huge fear of rejection. So I feel like they may do it. Some of them may do it. Some of them may not, but they want to talk to you about how they're feeling. They want you to talk to them to see if there's any kind of emotion here between from you to them if there's anything left right they they would give anything to have an emotional conversation with you right we have the eight of wands they want to talk to you but they they get they get scared and and they have this huge fear of rejection i feel like their game here is to get other people to talk to you for them, okay? And to try to feel, your out, feel you out, and some of them will report back to this person. So be very aware of that. This person is desperate for your attention. Desperate for your attention. Um, they want a victory here. They want to conquer this situation. Um, this is the type of energy, and I'm going to be very honest with you. As soon as they get what they want, then they don't want it anymore. So they're over here stomping their feet. I want you, Aquarius. I want you so bad. Why are you ignoring me? And as soon as you give them the slightest bit of attention, then they don't want it anymore. That's, that's the vibe I'm getting here. So you've got you a doozy on your hands here, um, Aquarius. That is for sure. This person cannot handle being ignored. It makes them feel more addicted to you, more obsessed with you. But like I said, this is the type of person that don't play by the same rules. They don't, they, they have a different gameplay here. And as soon as as you give in to them, even a slight bit, if you even say like, hello, yeah, you know what, I miss you too. They're just like, oh, well, on to the next one. That's, that's what I, that's how I feel. That's, that's what I'm getting here. But right now in, in the current state of events, they are desperate for your, for your attention and they are trying every which way to find out information in regards to what is going on with you. Whew. Lord have mercy. Aquarius, that is how they are feeling about you. All right, I hope it resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. And uh, yeah, like I said at the beginning of the video, um, I'm very happy to let you guys know that Consciousness Evolution Journey and I did another collaboration. It's a pick a deck, Love, Lester, and Loss collaboration, and it's so much fun. And I will leave uh, that link down below in the description box. We had so much fun making it for you guys. So check it out. 
And also, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will leave those links down below in the description box. Make sure you follow the links because there are some imposters out there. Aquarius. Um, for those Aquarians, if that's even a word, that are new to the channel, welcome. Um, usually I go by a pretty strict schedule, but the next two weeks we're trying to incorporate some new content in, so the schedule is going to be a little bit off, okay? Uh, for those of you that have been around for a while, it's going to be a little different for the next couple weeks, and we're going to see how it goes. Um, trying to spice things up a bit and keep things fun for me and for you, right? I'm excited and I hope you're, you're excited too. All right, Aquarius, I think that's about it. Um, be on the lookout for some fun stuff and you guys have a beautiful week and you take very good care of yourself and stay very safe and very healthy out there. And I will talk to you soon. God bless.